everybody. Hope everyone's doing well and fine. We're still in this lockdown. So I've been doing a lot of gardening. You see, I've done a lot in here since we be last year. Today we're going to learn how to plant carrots in a bucket. What you need to do is get a plastic bucket that's good for food, and that would be anything but three. A two, one, two, four, and five are all good. And the little numbers are down here on the bottom underneath this recyclable um, symbol. So what you start out is you clean it up well. You grow, drill some hose about a half inch thick into the bottom. You put a coffee liner into the bottom. And then you start by adding your dirt. Now I like to add a little bit of cow manure on the very bottom. This acts as a fertilizer form and doesn't really come in contact with the carrot itself, but the roots will get it. And that's what you really want. And if you find any big rocks or anything, take those out. And it's not so important at the bottom, but it is as it gets higher up. Next, you'll add your soil. Now this is a, con a mixture of um, uh, peat moss, potting soil, compost, and uh, verbniculite. And the main thing you need to cons watch out for is any big rocks or sticks like this. Those will um, cause your carrots to fork and separate as they grow. Once you get that filled, what you're going to do next, I usually fill it to about here because you're going to add a little bit on top yet and that will give you room for the water to go in. What you need is a grid to work out so you don't put too many carrot seeds in it. So you put this down, level your soil out, put this, and this is just a bag from um, that you get fruit in, like carrots or something, not carrots, but um, onions, just put that on the bottom, and you'll take this off again once you get them, the seeds planted. This is just used as a guide only. So what we'll do, see it in the bottom, we'll put a seed every other spot, and I like to keep my seeds out like this. So you can see, you see these are really small seeds, so you've got to really watch what you're doing as far as picking them up. And you just pick one up, put it, and they're hard to see, so you got to kind of pay attention to what you're doing. And you put them every other one. And you do that until you get the complete thing filled. And then once it's done, you'll take it and you'll put about a fourth of an inch of soil on top of this and water it well and leave it in the greenhouse until you start seeding. And that's going to take about 10 to 21 days, depending upon the type of carrot that you have. And then once they start grow, growing, you can put them outside if the warm weather is warmed up sufficiently enough. So that is how I do my carrots. You can see I've gotten other things. We've gotten the potatoes that we planted a couple weeks ago. I'll show you how they're looking. You can just see them coming up through the top. You can see these better. You can see them coming up through the top. And there are some more. And we've been busy in here. We've got the Swiss the kale, um, all my little cabbages and eggplants and broccoli. This is marigolds I just planted. Here's the Swiss chard. 
some sage that I got planted, and some basil, the sage is over here, and I got more plants over there in the corner planted. And I plan on planting a lot more today. So, hope everybody has a good, have a good day, and see you later.